I haven't played this game in months, and there's a reason for that, and that's because I played this game a lot for a while, and I wasn't good at it, but I also really, really wanted to wait a while before I play it again, because one, you like the game a little bit more when you haven't played in a while, and two, uh, it would make me suck more, and uh, that's what this kind of playthrough is going to be about. It's uh, not going to be graceful, it's not going to be pretty, uh, but it's going to be real, and um, that's what this game's about. So, I wrote a blog post about this last week, and pretty much every Wednesday I'm going to be posting this online just to give a little bit of my experience with Dark Souls, um, this one being Dark Souls 3. And uh, I just want to give people an idea about this game and uh, why it's so awesome, why I've enjoyed playing it for the many years that the series has been out, and uh, just uh, kind of give you a glimpse. So I'm just going to get right into it, and uh, we're not going to go that far right now. We're just going to go to the first boss, and uh, if I die, I die. And uh, oh, here's the first guy. What's up? Been a while. Oh, my God. Okay. It's a good start. So. I'm not going to do this, like, let's play status where I dictate every single thing I do because, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I'm experienced enough to be able to do that at all. So I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert in this game because I'm definitely not. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to make this as entertaining as possible, as fun as possible, and uh, make it fun to watch. And uh, even for people that don't like video games, or maybe someone's visiting my website, it's like, oh, he's playing video games, I don't want to watch this. Uh, I hope you want to watch this, actually, because this game's fun, and, you know, I, I think that uh, it deserves some credit. And at the very least, watching me suffer through it will be fun. And, oh god, speaking of... There we go, it's the first hit. So yeah, the thing with this game is um, it doesn't really hold your hand, as you can see. Like, I kind of didn't show the entering screen and all that stuff, but uh, basically you wake up here and you're just thrown right into this game. And um, he teaches you the basic controls, but that's about it. So, I don't know. If you don't know what you're doing in this game, you die very quickly, and speaking of dying, that might happen right here. Oh so this is like a crystal lizard thing, um, as you can see, and uh, yeah, combat in this game is pretty intense. You really gotta be on top of your game, and wow, I really forgot how much life this thing had. Oh crap, alright. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, that's... <sighs> okay, okay. You don't have to do this. I just kind of remember that. But I'm already here, so... Let's just go in for it! Oh my god. Alright, if I die here... Don't kick him! So that green bar right there, that's your stamina, and you have to always be gauging that, because if you're out of stamina, you can't move! That was really close. Oh, man. So already, this is way harder than I remember it being. Okay! First death! in like the first 90 seconds, that's awesome. Yeah, so uh, you die in this game, you uh, you go back to the beginning or where your bonfire was, and, but I don't have a bonfire, so I'm just gonna go back to the very beginning, which isn't that far, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. Also, I should probably mention this, why do I have a Yoshi that I'm like strangling right now? Um, well, because this Yoshi has been a big part of my life. Um, He's been there for every single video game charity that I've done, and I've done three of them with all my friends. Uh, They're called Mario Madness and Mama Zelda Madness, and basically we play video games for an entire weekend, raise money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and over the years, man, we I guess the most successful one was about two and a half years ago. I think it was 2013, so yeah, three years ago. Wow, it's been that long. Um, but that raised over eighteen thousand dollars in one weekend, and that that was just uh, one of the absolute best experiences of my life. And I really want to keep doing that again. And um, for a while, I've been trying to do it, but um, you know, we're just gonna come back here. 
I, I, I just feel like I'm gonna die again, and I don't want this video to be too long, so we're gonna go where you're supposed to go, which is through this flaming arrow, dude. And, uh, to me first bonfire. But yeah, anyways, Yoshi, he's my dude. He, uh, I found him at UCI, actually, when I was going to college back there, UC Irvine. For any of you non-Irvine people in California, that's where I live. Um, yeah, it was, it was on sale, like, the week before the event at this, like, random outpost on uh, Ring Road, which is basically where everything is there. Uh, so I bought him, and I'm like, oh, that's a sign. I should just buy this Yoshi. And, uh, man, he uh, he's raised a lot of money. Let's just say that. I think one time we had a... Come on, man. We had donations for every single time Yoshi uh, was thrown in someone's face, uh, like, hit lightly. And, uh, unfortunately, that ripped... Yoshi open, and I had to get stitches in surgery. Uh, but he's good now. He's uh, very much alive and well, and um, he's been there for the other two marathons, and he'll be here uh, for any future ones too. And this uh, little thing, Majigger, I'm doing, or whatever project you want to call it. But uh, anyway, so yeah, these guys are they're pretty easy. I take like two hits, most of them die. Uh, down here. I want to go here because there's an item I want, and the shield, you can break these shields in this game, oh my god, let's go, let's go, let's go, out of stamina, that's what I was telling you about, if you do not manage that well, you will suffer for it, but that's, that's not too bad. Okay, so, here we go, getting close to the first boss now. And that's where I'm probably going to end this, if things go well, and lord, I I hope I can do it in one one round, but like I said, it's been a while since I've played this game, and here's a perfect example. I could probably get this my first try, but let's see how I do this time. No, 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 no. Alright. You don't have to get that, it's just a Tide Knight Shard, but you use to upgrade the weapons, and probably go into way too much detail, and you're like, well, you're speaking another language. Um, but yeah. See another guy here? Alright. I, I don't want to show everything, so let's just go straight into this. I don't need that. Um. And yeah, I'll probably heal. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this goes. I'll be quiet so you can just uh, enjoy this. Or laugh miserably at how bad of a job I do here. that one. Okay, this is why you want the fireballs. These things... Okay, okay, I might have timed that wrong. And I definitely missed that one. Oh my god, I think I might get this! Yeah. <sighs> wow. All right. That went pretty smooth. That went pretty smooth. All right. So there you go. First boss of the game, beaten in one thing, and we're just gonna ignore that uh, the other death I got because that that was that didn't count. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna light this bonfire. That's the first, you know chunk of the game. I can't even call it a chunk because that went by so fast, but I don't want to give too much right now. I'm just going to say that I'll be doing this each week and um, writing a little report of how things go, and um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the show, if you want to call it that, and um, make sure you uh, check me out.